Okay, what's up guys, it's your boy Shaken here with another Rust console YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to link the Kill Fleet system with your Rust console server and your Discord server. If you haven't checked out my last video, go ahead and check it out and you'll see how to set up custom server names on how to add different colors to your server name. But today's video is all about adding the bots to your server, adding the kill feed system to your server, and then adding the kill feed system to your Discord server. It is quick and easy and simple to do. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a Rust server. To do that, you can go to the Gportal website and buy it from the, uh, the website if you're on PlayStation, or if you're on Xbox, you can go to the Xbox store and uh, download the Gportal app and then buy your server from the Gportal app. Once, once it's bought, uh, one recommendation what I would suggest to do is I recommend that you change your server name because I believe it will just pop up as like G portal and a bunch of numbers and letters and things. So it'll be a lot easier to find your server if you just rename your server. Once you've renamed it, hit the save button, hit restart and you're good to go. So once your server's restarted, what you wanna do is you wanna head over to the permission section. Once you're on the permission section, um, you want to find a username. But first, I'd like to say this section allows you to add users to your server. What that means is if I add someone to my server list in, in the permission section, they will have full access to my server. So in my main server, my buddy 710, he has access to my whole server so he can log into his G portal website and he has full access to my server. Now I would say use this permission very lightly unless you know you can 100, 1 billion percent trust that person, do not add anyone to this list because they will have full access to your server. Now they can't delete your server but they can do a lot of things to your server that you may not want them to do so they can change settings they can change the name they can shut down the server they can restart the server so it is recommended only give it to someone that you can 100 percent trust but anyway moving on so first of all what we need to do is we need to add the bot and we need to give them full permissions of your rust console server so what you want to do is you want to head over to the website it will be listed uh down below on the description and what you want to do is you want to locate this key right here what you want to do is you want to copy it you go over to there paste it and add user now in some instances I have found out that if you don't restart your server it may not work correctly or it might take longer to work so I'd recommend just restart it to just to double check and make sure that everything's all good. So I'm gonna restart my server and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that your server has now restarted, everything should be all good to go. So now the next thing that you wanna do is obviously you wanna have a Discord server. You wanna come back to this website and you can click on this link below or you can go to the description in this video and click on the link and it will add the bot to your discord server so as you can see here i already have the bot in the discord server now i would recommend giving the bot administration permissions this is simply because i have noticed without administration the bot doesn't seem to work correctly um, as you can see, see here, administration permissions. Um, once the bot is all set up, I believe that you can remove administration, but in, for the purpose, um, just keep it on while you're setting up the server and everything else like that. So now, once you're in, what you want to do is you want to go back to your to your server, and you want to find a couple of things. Let me just uh, go back to that. Okay. So the, you're back on your server and now you want to find your server ID and the region of your server. So the region of your server is right here. So for me, it is EU. Because 
us it's an EU server. Uh, for you, it will be a little bit different. And then the server ID is going to be these numbers right here. So what you want to do is you want to copy that for future uh, use and then head over to your Discord server. And then I've got a channel set up, so Rust admin, this is where I do all my commands. And what you want to do is you want to do slash GS and then it's the, it, should, it should pop up the very top one. So it should be add G portal. And then it's asking for your G portal game server ID. So you'd paste your ID number and then it's going to ask for your region and then you will put EU and then it will ask for a nickname. So for my purpose, I'm just going to name it shaken. And then once you've done hit enter, and once it's done its thing, as you can see here, it has been successfully added. Please wait about five minutes for it to be added to the pool. So I would recommend just just waiting a little bit, give it time to load up, give it a give it a chance to do its thing. You know, it's got a lot of back end data to, to to load. And once you've done that, everything will all be set up and you'll be good to go. But thank you for watching guys and stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to be showing you how to set up all the PvP, PvE and events feeds within your server and within your Discord server. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching. Have a great evening, day and night. Peace out.